the face who runs the place. I am the best thing going today. Rest in peace. The future is standing in front of you. Looks like the time has come to pull the plug on the weak. Your independence gone. Control is not what it seems. It's time to rise up and take it into the streets. The life support is cut. The transformation complete. My actions don't seem so clean. You're out there pulling the strings. Anything in a cage you couldn't hold has escaped and it's out of your control. Everything you ever hoped that you could be only exists in a fake reality. We are one night removed from the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam, as we welcome you to another edition of Monday Night Raw. And we are going to kick things off with our general manager here on the red brand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the general manager of Monday Night Raw, Kevin Nash. So Kevin Nash is set to kick us off here tonight on Monday Night Raw, and he posted this interesting tweet earlier on before the show began. Breaking news, effective immediately, the world titles of Raw and SmackDown Live will be renamed and redesigned. Very interesting stuff there. I have no idea what this is about, but Kevin Nash clearly has been talking with SmackDown Live general manager Shane McMahon, and they've come to the conclusion that they want to change the names and the design of the World Heavyweight Championships. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Only one night removed from the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam. I hope the event delivered for you all. It was most definitely one hell of a show. Now I'm out here tonight to kick off Raw because I need to address the name and design changes for the Raw World Heavyweight Championship. I posted on Twitter earlier on that we're going to be changing the World Heavyweight Championship design and even the name of the championships themselves. This is for both brands. So whatever Shane McMahon wants to do with the SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship is his prerogative. But as for the Raw World Heavyweight Championship, I've chosen to rename and redesign it the Universal Championship. And the reason why is not only to distinguish the red brand from SmackDown Live further, but to also thank each and every single one of you in attendance, those of you watching from home, and every single WWE fan, because without you, WWE wouldn't be where it is today. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. You are the WWE Universe, and so out of respect, we are renaming and redesigning the World Championship here on Raw, as a thank you to all of you. Now about tonight's show, I've got a lot lined up, and I think we should just get right into it. Well, I can agree with that as, oh, wait a minute. That is Kevin Owens, the current United States champion, and also Mr. Money in the Bank. What is he doing out here, interrupting the war general manager? Nevertheless, though, it looks like Kevin Nash and Shane McMahon have decided to rename and redesign the World Heavyweight Championships here in WWE. What a time to do it, coming off of the tremendous SummerSlam pay-per-view last night. 
And from what I understand, the new championships have already been made. They are in the back and they will be awarded to the current World Heavyweight Champions of Raw and SmackDown Live, respectively, Braun Strowman and Finn Balor. Right now, though, it looks like Kevin Nash has a lot to deal with in the form of Kevin Owens. Let's hear what Owens makes of all of this. Kevin, you cannot be serious. You're going to rename and redesign the most prestigious title on Raw. A title, mind you, that I will be getting my hands on one day. Thanks to my Money in the Bank briefcase. You're going to rename it as a thank you to these pathetic people? Are you out of your mind? Kevin, you know, I'm actually embarrassed to share the same first name as you. Oh, you are? Maybe it's not embarrassment. Maybe it's jealousy. Maybe you're mistaken embarrassment with jealousy because I can actually walk without having... How many quad surgeries have you had again now? I lost count ages ago. All right. You just crossed the line. I'm not going to put up with your mouth. In four weeks at Battleground, you will defend the United States title against not one... Not two, but three other wrestlers in a fatal four-way. What? Yeah, that's right. Tonight we are going to find out two of those participants in that match when Sheamus takes on Fandango and Titus O'Neil takes on Drew McIntyre. You know what? Fine. At Battleground, I'm going to show you that despite you being the general manager of Raw, this is the Kevin Owens Show. Well, that is one way to kick off Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens will have to defend the United States title in a fatal four-way against three other men come the Battleground pay-per-view. Well, after the dawning of the Cruiserweight division last night at SummerSlam, TJP, the brand new Cruiserweight Champion, is set for action next here on Raw. Kevin, I got an idea. What if you trade me over to SmackDown Live for somebody on their roster? I could be the first trade of the new era. Look, Keith, you're a very entertaining guy, and I don't mean to offend you in any way. While I do have some SmackDown Live wrestlers in mind if a trade was to take place, I don't think Shane would accept you for the names that I've got my eye on. The trade just wouldn't equate. Sorry. I can't do that, but I can give you another chance to win, though. What you think? Well, I'd be an idiot to turn down another chance, right? Alright, tonight then you can face Jinder Mahal, and if you win, you can stay here on Raw. But, if you lose again, Heath, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. Me and Jinder go way back. I know him like the back of my hand. I can do this. I need this job, and I will keep this job. It's a deal, Kevin. Well, Heath Slater's job may be at risk for the final time later on tonight. When he takes on Jinder Mahal, right now though, the Cruiserweight Champion is set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, he is the Cruiserweight Champion, TJP. TJP set for action here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And last night at SummerSlam, TJP was able to become the first ever Cruiserweight Champion of the new era here in WWE by outlasting five other men in a six-man over-the-top-rope battle royal. The inaugural Cruiserweight Champion of the new era is set for action right now here on Raw. And here comes his opponent, another man that was in that six-man battle royal. 
He is the Scottish Supernova, Noam Dorr. Introducing his opponent, from Air Scotland, Noam Dorr. Noam Dorr was actually the final man that TJP eliminated in that six-man battle royal to become the Cruiserweight Champion. Noam Dorr set to take on TJP here tonight in one-on-one -on -one action. And well, if Noam Dorr can get a victory over the champ tonight, then he will be the first Cruiserweight in line to challenge TJ Perkins for the Cruiserweight title. All Noam Dorr needs is a victory over the champion and he becomes number one contender. So here we go, TJP versus Noam Dar, the first Cruiserweight matchup on the red brand and we are underway. And these two will lock up in the center of the ring, TJ Perkins getting the upper hand, taking down Dar. Side headlock applied there, followed by that right hand to the skull and now Perkins sends Dar off the ropes. Oh, what a kick to the face. Wow. And there's the dab from the Duke of Dab. That's at least what he calls himself. And now TJP. Oh, unique neck breaker there. The straight jacket neck breaker onto the Scottish Supernova. Followed now by a double foot stomp and a kick to the face. It has been all TJP thus far. Right out of the get-go, Perkins made sure to take control. But now, Noam Dar looking for a comeback. As now, look at this, showing off the power is Noam Dar. Nice takedown onto the Cruiserweight Champion. And now he's going to go after the arm. And now Noam Dar is in control as he gets Perkins back up to his feet. And now TJP sent to the apron, but there's a big shot. Dazing Dar. But Noam Dar still fighting. The back and forth begins as there's a snap suplex from the Scottish Supernova. And now Noam Dar. Submission maneuver perhaps here, yes. Unique armbar submission locked in. Is TJP going to submit here on Monday Night Raw? No, instead he'll escape the submission. Both of these men, of course, are submission specialists. They both also have a knee bar at their disposal. Big European uppercut there in the corner by TJ Perkins. And now TJP, the Cruiserweight Champion, getting Noam Dar back up to his feet. And now wait a second, here comes that power bomb. Oh, that's the move that eliminated Dar from the Battle Royal last night, but he kicks out at one here this evening. And now Perkins, oh, missing that drop kick. And now Noam Dar's looking to take advantage. Ever the opportunist is Noam Dar going right after the legs to set up the knee bar. And now Dar with a snap there takedown. And look at this. Trying to slow the match up down now is the Scottish Supernova. Arm bar locked in. But TJP makes it back up to his feet and there's a shot to the gut. And now an elbow smash. Backing Noam Dar into the corner. And what a combination of kicks there from the Cruiserweight Champion. And now Noam Dar sent across the ring. Corner to corner. And now CJP looking to show off his athleticism. Wow, what a hurricane runner that was. And now Perkins lining up something here. Big right hand, and we saw this last night as well. Oh, there's the chicken wing gut buster. That could do it. TJP for the victory over Noam Dar, but a kick out at two this time. Noam Dar felt that maneuver multiple times last night at SummerSlam, and he feels it again here tonight as, oh my goodness. What a kick there from TJP. Nearly took Noam Dar's head off. And now Perkins setting up the vertical suplex. Still has a hold of Dar. And now he's going to turn it into a back suplex. Nice combination there. And now TJP heads up top. Perkins up top rope. Measuring Noam Dar here. 
And here's Parkins all caught. No and oh, look at the strength. Power bomb position now for Perkins into a fireman's carry. And now, oh, door hangs up. The cruiserweight champion on the top rope. Here's the cover to pin the champion. No. Kick out at two now by Perkins. And this is turning into quite the competitive match. As now Noam Dar sends Perkins off the ropes. Oh, right to the leg again. This time it was to the knee, I think. And now Noam Dar up to the second right. Missed that drop kick. Wildly, in fact. And now TJ to take advantage. Detonation kick. Dar lands on his feet. And now Noam Dar with a chop across the chest. Into the knee bar. The knee bar by Noam Dar. And is TJP going to submit here? Is the Cruiserweight Champion going to tap out to Noam Dar? No. TJP's trying to fight out and he does. TJP creates separation. And now TJP with a kick to the midsection. Lama Heastro Cradle. Shoulders are down here on Dar. But only for a one count. Oh, what a knee strike. That could do it. Daw could be out of it. Cover again by Perkins and another two count. Wow. That knee came out of nowhere. The speed of Perkins. And now TJP up top again. Frog splash. Frog splash. Hooking the outside leg to put away Noam Daw. But again, only a two. And now Noam Daw once again. After the arm of TJP. Here's the cover. Maybe out of desperation. And Perkins again stays alive. Noam Dar looking to show the world what he's made of. He has a point to prove here tonight. As now his. Oh, TJP with a super kick. That could be enough. Here's the cover once again now. And another two count. As Noam Dar gets his shoulders up. Rolling neck snap now by the Cruiserweight Champion. And now Dar picked back up to his feet. TJP hooking the arms. Bridging butterfly suplex. Shoulders are down. And another two count. Both men do not want to go down here tonight. This is quite the showcase for these two individuals. As now Noam Dar's in the corner again. And TJP. Oh, Tornado DDT off the second rope. TJP, though, not going to go for the cover. And that may have been a mistake. Missed the drop kick. And now he's back into the knee bar. Noam Dahl with that knee bar locked in for the second time in this match. And TJP may have no choice but to submit. But again, TJP showing the heart of a champion. Showing why he is the Cruiserweight Champion. And now looking for that power bomb again. Oh, but this time Daw counters it. Into a face buster. Shoulders down. Into the cover. Goes Daw, but again, only a two. What an opening matchup for these two Cruiserweights. They are really showing the world what they're capable of. As now once again Noam Dar targets the arm of the Cruiserweight Champion. And now switching focus to the legs again. Noam Dar just focusing in on any limb that he can get his hands on. First it was the arm, then it transitioned into the legs. And now Noam Dar is in complete control. TJP in a lot of trouble right now as there's a stomp to the midsection by the Scottish Supernova. And now Noam Dar stalking the champion here. Setting up that running in Zaguri. Oh, missed it. He missed it. And TJP to capitalize. Hooking the arms again. Another butterfly suplex. This time he didn't bridge it. This time he wants Dar back up to his feet. And now Amdor is. And now TJP setting it up. Detonation kick right to the ear of Noam Dar. The cruiserweight champion hooking the outside leg. Here's the cover. And TJ Perkins is victorious.
What a matchup to open Monday Night Raw. That was incredible. As we take a look at this again, TJP nailing the detonation kick onto the Scottish Supernova. And that was enough to put him away. TJP is victorious in his first matchup in the new era on Monday Night Raw. Two victories now for TJP in the new era. First, it was last night at SummerSlam, and he follows it up one night later with another victory. Congratulations to the Cruiserweight Champion, TJP. Welcome back everybody to Monday Night Raw as here comes the Celtic Warrior set for action next here on the Red Brand. There is Sheamus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. So Sheamus makes his way out to the ring as he prepares for this big matchup with huge implications for the Battleground pay-per-view. As you heard earlier on when the show began, Kevin Owens will have to defend his United States title against three other men at Battleground in a fatal four-way. This matchup here will determine one of those three men in that fatal four-way matchup. Sheamus is in the ring and here comes his opponent. He will be representing Breezongo here this evening in this singles matchup. There is Tyler Breeze, and behind him is Sheamus' opponent. Introducing his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Tyler Breeze, representing Breeze Zongo, Fondongo. Fondongo with a golden opportunity here tonight to gain entry into the United States Championship Fatal 4-Way in four weeks at Battleground, live on pay-per-view. This is a massive opportunity for Fondongo. Maybe the biggest opportunity thus far in his career. Fondongo could potentially become the next United States Champion if he can gain his way into that Fatal 4-Way matchup. All he needs to do is get past the Celtic Warrior here this evening. Easier said than done. As here we go with our first match with huge battleground implications here tonight. Sheamus versus Fondongo. And Sheamus right out of the gate with an axe handle to the King of Dance. And now a knee into the gut. And here's Sheamus really going in. Sheamus clearly not impressed with the goofiness of Breezongo as oh, he just plants the King of Dance back first into the map before delivering that massive elbow drop. Tyler Breeze looking on at ringside here for this matchup as, well, it's not looking good for Fondongo right now. But as I say that, hold on a second. Back drop there by the King of Dance. And now Fondongo has the arm of Sheamus. And he just wrenches away on that there momentarily. 
Sheamus now picked back up to his feet by Fondongo. And now Sheamus is on the apron. Fondongo sends him to the outside. And this, uh, I don't think, is wise. You do not want to be heading to the outside of the ring with a brawler like the Celtic Warrior. And oh, that's why. Spine Buster right there on the outside. Back first into a steal. Goes Fondongo and now Sheamus. Uh-oh. Has Fondongo up. Oh, and face first into the steel steps. Fondongo is in a bad way right now as he gets sent back inside the ring. Sheamus follows. And Sheamus continuing this onslaught on the King of Dance. And now Fondongo with a shot to the back of Fondongo. And now Skull first did about top turnbuckle. Fondongo though with a boot. And now from behind, no, Sheamus reverses. And now Sheamus with a back suplex from behind. And look at Sheamus just taunting away at the WWE fans here tonight. As there's a big knee right to the chest. And Tyler Breeze showing a look of concern for his tag team partner. But Fondongo trying to fight back. Sheamus now with a fireman's carry takeover. And now some big shots setting up Fondongo against the ropes. And now the WWE fans chanting, you look stupid, towards Sheamus. And all that's going to do is fire up Sheamus even more. Oh, as he just unloads on Fondongo against the ropes. Are you not entertained, says Sheamus. As he gets Fondongo back up to his feet. And now here comes the Irish Curse Backbreaker. Wait a minute though, there's another one. And now maybe looking for a triple. And he delivers all three. Three Irish Curse Backbreakers to Fondongo. Here's the cover, Sheamus. No, could not put Fondongo away. Fondongo was able to stay alive at the count of two. And now Sheamus. Forced to get Fondongo back up to his feet. There's a reversal. And now Sheamus is in the corner. Here's Fondongo trying to go on the offensive. But Sheamus pushes him away. And now, oh, there's the bro kick. Out of nowhere. The bro kick by Sheamus. Cover. And Sheamus gets the victory. Sheamus will be the first man that gains entry into the United States title. Fatal four-way at Battleground as we take a look back at this again. Sheamus pushes Fondongo out of the corner before delivering that vicious bro kick to the skull. And that was enough to put away the King of Dance. Fondongo gave a good effort here tonight, but it just was not enough to put away the hungry Celtic warrior that is Sheamus. Sheamus gains entry into the fatal four-way for the United States Championship in four weeks' time at the Battleground Pay-Per-View. Who else will join the fray in that fatal four-way for the United States title as Kevin Owens will be forced to defend his championship against three other men? We will find out one more participant Later on tonight when Drew McIntyre takes on Titus O'Neil. And then the final participant will be decided next week here on Monday Night Raw. Also coming up tonight though, our main event of the evening has been announced by General Manager Kevin Nash. The new Universal Champion Braun Strowman is set to take on the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, later on tonight. What a collision that is set to be. We are back live here on Monday Night Raw. As it is now time for women's action. The following contest is a women's division match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Lafayette, Indiana. Accompanied to the ring by Paige. She is the Raw Women's Champion, Ruby Riot. 
Ruby Riot last night at the SummerSlam pay-per-view was able to dethrone the legit boss, Sasha Banks, and end her reign as the Raw Women's Champion. Congratulations to Ruby Riot. That is one hell of an accomplishment, given that many women have tried to end the reign of Sasha Banks and have failed. Last night at SummerSlam, Ruby Riot proved that she can get the job done in high pressure situations. Ruby Riot set for ring ring action. Next here on Monday Night Raw. And here comes her opponent. Introducing her opponent from Staten Island, Carmella. So Carmella set to take on the new Raw Women's Champion, Ruby Riot, here tonight. Ruby Riot has already defeated Carmella in one-on-one -on -one action before, but tonight could be a newfound opportunity for the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. I mean, if Carmella can defeat Ruby Riot, not only will she prove that Ruby Riot's victory over her could potentially be a fluke, but Carmella could well and truly put herself into contention for the Raw Women's Championship. All she needs is a victory here tonight against the new Raw Women's Champion. And there's the bell. We are underway as Ruby Riot takes on Carmella. And Carmella getting backed up into the corner by the new champion to begin this matchup. And the referee will look for a clean break, but he won't get one as Carmella takes the cheap shot. No surprise there. As now off the elbow smash, Carmella sends Riot off the ropes. And there is a big single leg drop kick. And the Princess of Staten Island is uh, pretty pleased with herself after that. As now she gets Riot back up to her feet. Goes for the forearm but catches that right hand from Riot. And there's a drop kick to follow it up. And now Ruby Riot trying to get Carmella back up to her feet. But there's a nice arm drag from the Princess of Staten Island. And now here comes Carmella trying for a comeback in this match as she just unloads on Riot in the corner. And now from behind, Carmella with an atomic drop on the new Raw Women's Champion. And now here's Carmella, went for a slap. Ruby Riot blocked it and delivers that right hand. Oh, and now face first into the mat goes Carmella there. And the Raw Women's Champion taking back control. Nice suplex. And now a stomp into the midsection. Riot with a stomp again. This time to the arm. And now maybe looking for a snap suplex. Carmella able to shut that down. There's a big elbow right to the skull. And oh, there's a disrespectful slap to the back of the head. And Ruby Riot is not going to take too kindly to that. Spike Rana. Spike Rana off the ropes. Ruby Riot not taking too kindly to that blatant disrespect to the new Raw Women's Champion. And now Ruby Riot. Stomp now. This time to the chest of Carmella. And now up to the second rope. Sent on nobody home. Carmella now to take advantage. Elbow to the back of Riot. Went for the kick, but Ruby Riot called her leg and delivers that knee. And now Riot looking for something. Carmella able to counter. Kick to the leg. And now sends Riot into the corner. And there's a big forearm. Forearm in the corner. And now Carmella again looking for a kick. But this time, Ruby Riot counters with a Boston Crab. Boston Crab locked in. Is Carmella going to tap out? Submission maneuver locked in. And Carmella able to fight out of it. The mentor of Ruby Riot Page looking on from ringside. As Carmella now hits that Saido suplex. And now Carmella waiting for Riot to get back up to her feet. Carmella super kick. The princess kick as she calls it. Is it enough to put away Riot? No. Only a two count. Carmella almost scoring a massive victory there over the new champion. As now here's Ruby Riot with an arm drag of her own. Taking Carmella down to one knee. Again off the ropes, but this time Carmella knew that the Spike Rana was coming. 
And now again Carmelo. Stalking. Ruby Riot. Kick to the midsection. DDT. Delivered to Riot. Carmella now looking to follow that up. Gonna send Riot off the ropes again. And there's another drop toe hold. Taking out the legs of Riot. Causing her to face plant the mat. But now Riot tries to fight back. Inzaguri caught Carmella in the side of the head. And now Riot taunts away to the WWE fans. And they are firmly behind her in this match. Riot may look to put this one away. Getting Carmella back up to her feet, but Carmella grabs hold of the arm. And now Carmella looking for something, but Riot with an E. Another Inzaguri to the side of the head. This time into the cover. Ruby Riot for the victory. Carmella kicks out at two. Two counts on both ends now. And now Ruby Riot may look for the finishing blow. Maybe setting up the Riot kick. But Carmella counters with the elbow. Riot again sent off the ropes. Missed the clothesline wildly. And now Riot off that shot to the back. There's the Riot kick. The Riot kick delivered. Onto Carmella. Into the cover. Back press. Hooks the leg and Ruby Riot gets the victory tonight. Let's get another look at that ending. Ruby Riot, I think, was going for the Riot kick here. But Carmella was able to counter it with that elbow. And then Ruby Riot was sent off the ropes again. Carmella missed that clothesline. And then Ruby Riot capitalizing with the Riot kick. And Carmella was out of it. Ruby Riot right away getting into the cover and putting away the Princess of Staten Island. Ruby Riot able to continue her momentum after the SummerSlam pay-per-view where she became the new War Women's Champion. Congratulations here tonight to Ruby Riot and her mentor, Paige. I bet Paige is very proud of her protege right now. As I'll wait a minute. Here comes the former Raw Women's Champion. There is the legit boss, Sasha Banks. And you can bet that Sasha Banks is not happy that Ruby Riot is the new champion because Sasha was not the one that was pinned last night at SummerSlam. It was actually Nikki Bella, the other woman in the triple threat match that took the fall. You can't imagine Sasha is happy about that at all. Let's see uh, what Sasha has to say. Well, Sasha Banks is not wasting any time in cashing in her mandatory rematch clause. She wants it next week here on the Red Brand. And I don't think Kevin Nash will have any issues on making that match official for next week. Let's wait a second here. Ruby Riot. I think she just invited Sasha Banks into the ring. And they can do it right now. Ruby Riot giving Sasha the room to get in the ring. Is, is Sasha Banks going to take this offer up? Are we going to have a championship match right now? Is the rematch about to take place tonight as well? Sasha's thinking about it but decides against it. Probably the best decision there for Sasha Banks. Gives more time for Banks to heal up after that grueling encounter last night at SummerSlam. Nevertheless, the championship match will go down next week here on Monday Night Raw. I can't wait for it. Welcome back everybody to Monday Night Raw and as you just heard, Sasha Banks wants her rematch 
for the Raw Women's title next week here on the Red Brand. And during the commercial break moments ago, Kevin Nash, our general manager, has made the matchup official. It will go down next week here on Monday Night Raw. Right now, though, here comes Titus O'Neil, who is set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Live Oak, Florida, Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil makes his way down to the ring now as he prepares for another big matchup with battleground implications. The winner of this match will also advance to the fatal four way for the United States title in four weeks at the battleground pay per view. Kevin Owens will be forced to defend his championship against three other men. That announcement was made earlier on tonight, and we also saw Sheamus, the Celtic warrior, advance to that matchup. The question is, who will join him? That is what this match will determine. As here comes the Scotsman, that is Drew McIntyre. Introducing his opponent from Air Scotland, Drew. McIntyre! Drew McIntyre returns to the WWE here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And what an opportunity this is for him. If he was to defeat Titus O'Neil here tonight, he will advance alongside Sheamus in the fatal four way for the United States title at Battleground. Drew McIntyre has all the tools to become the Universal Champion here on the Red Brand. But maybe he could become the United States Champion before then. Drew McIntyre set to take on Titus O'Neil to hungry wrestlers here this evening. They would love some championship gold around their waists. And this is a perfect opportunity to get there. McIntyre versus Titus. Here we go. And we are underway as Drew McIntyre. Wow. Caught Titus dead in his tracks with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And now look at McIntyre going in with the ground and pound. And that is what McIntyre is all about. He is a brawler personified as he sends Titus into the corner. Big forearm there. And Drew McIntyre is all fired up as the matchup begins. And now McIntyre, look at the power. Look at the power. Oh my goodness. Launching Titus O'Neil across the ring with another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And now here's Titus trying to fight back. Big shot there to Drew McIntyre. And now here's the power of Titus O'Neil. Backbreaker, fall away slam combination. And Titus is able to turn this matchup around. As now McIntyre gets sent off the ropes. Titus with a big boot to the face. Oh, and there's a big time elbow drop as well. Dropping that elbow right to the chest of the Scotsman. And now Titus went for the kick. McIntyre able to counter and hit that clothesline from behind. And now Drew McIntyre is back in control as he cranks away at the neck of Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil, ever since leaving his tag team partner Darren Young, has yearned for the opportunity to get a championship here in WWE's new era. Tonight is his chance. But unfortunately for him, he comes up against the returning Drew McIntyre. And now McIntyre trying to back Titus O'Neil into the corner. Titus with a kick to the midsection. And now a power slam. And look at the arrogance of Titus O'Neil. That could cost him here tonight. 
So I just can't get too cocky in this match. Otherwise, that will happen. Drew McIntyre now takes control again. Oh, and there's a big stomp to the face. Titus being picked back up to a vertical base now. And here's Drew McIntyre. Oh, planting Titus face first. What a face buster there that was. And now, oh, an inverted backbreaker as well. Titus picked back up to his feet once again. And now McIntyre sends him off the ropes. And there's another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. That's the third one now here in this match. And now McIntyre showing off his power. Deadlift. Got rich power bomb. Unbelievable power there on display. As now McIntyre looks for something. Titus is able to reverse. And now Titus O'Neil. Gonna fight power with power. As there's another fall away slam. This time into the cover. Shoulders down on McIntyre. But only for a one count. And once again, Titus O'Neil showing off his arrogance and taunting away to the fans as now he looks for a powerbomb, maybe. McIntyre able to fight out of it. And now the kick into the midsection, followed by that clubbing blow to the back. And now McIntyre backing himself up into the corner. He's calling for the Claymore kick, and there it is. Nearly took Titus's head off. And McIntyre not quite done yet. He's looking to double down. Kick to the midsection. He's looking for the future shock. DDT. Skull first into the mat goes Titus O'Neil. Drew McIntyre advances to the fatal four way at Battleground. What a return for Drew McIntyre as we take a look back at this again. First, it was the Claymore kick, which nearly took Titus's head off. And then McIntyre would double down with the future shot DDT. Kick right there into the midsection. And then skull first into the mat goes Titus. What impact of the future shot DDT. Drew McIntyre has advanced to the battleground fatal full way. Congratulations to Drew McIntyre for a successful return to WWE here tonight on Raw. Drew McIntyre is part of the fatal four-way for the United States Championship at the Battleground pay-per-view in four weeks' time. McIntyre joins the Celtic Warrior Sheamus who was able to advance to the Fatal 4-Way earlier on tonight here on Raw. My goodness, does Kevin Owens have the deck stacked against him? Come Battleground or what? Sheamus, McIntyre, and one more participant is still to be decided. And it will be decided next week here on Monday Night Raw. Good luck, KO. We are back live here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Pineville, West Virginia, Heath Slater. Heath Slater, the man with everything on the line here this evening. Heath Slater's livelihood is at stake here tonight. If Slater does not win this match with Jinder Mahal, then he will be fired from Monday Night Raw. And as a guy who personally knows Heath Slater, I can tell you firsthand that Slater is one of the nicest guys I've ever met in that Raw locker room. I will vouch for that any day of the week. It would really suck seeing a guy as nice as Heath Slater lose his job here tonight. I really hope that Slater can somehow pull this one off. As here comes the man that has a lot of power in his hands tonight. Here comes the man that could potentially end the career of Heath Slater here on the Red Brand. Here comes the self-professed modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. And there he is. 
Introducing his opponent from Punjab, India, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal and Heath Slater go way back, as you heard Slater say earlier on tonight in the backstage area. These two men were part of a three-man team here in WWE known as 3MB, the three-man band. And now it has come full circle because Jinder Mahal has the power to end the career of his former friend, Heath Slater. I don't even think that Jinder Mahal will get much pleasure out of this here tonight if Slater does indeed lose his job. Nevertheless, the referee calls for the bell and we are underway. And Jinder Mahal starts things off with a big boot to the face. Hang on a second. Maybe Jinder Mahal will take pleasure out of ending Slater's career after all. As now Jinder Mahal showing off his agility. Nice arm drag there on Slater. And now there's a big right hand setting up Slater against the ropes. And now look at the power here of Jinder Mahal. Hanging Slater out to dry there on the top rope. And now Mahal with a big elbow to the chest. Jinder Mahal maybe wants to end the career of Slater here tonight. I mean, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal in their 3MB tag team, they never did accomplish too much. Maybe Jinder Mahal blames Slater for that. As now here comes Slater, trying to fight back here in this match to keep his job and his dreams alive. Off the back breaker, now Mahal gets sent to the apron. Jinder though with a kick, dazing Slater. And now Mahal's back into the ring, went for a clothesline. Slater able to dodge. And now Mahal up on the shoulders momentarily, but there's an elbow. And now Mahal looking for something, but Slater shuts it down with the reverse DDT. These two men know each other very well from their 3 MB days. As now Slater looks for the DDT, but Mahal, Northern Lights suplex with a bridge, but only a one count. My goodness, this is uh, getting close early on here. And now, oh, Mahal with a knee into the gut of the one-man band, Heath Slater. And now Jinder Mahal, look at his eyes. I think Jinder Mahal does want to end Heath Slater's career here on Raw. As here comes Mahal with a massive knee to the skull. That could do it. No, not like this. Oh, Slater's still in this. Slater was able to kick out. Heath Slater's career is still alive here on Monday Night Raw. And now Jinder Mahal sending Slater into the corner. Mahal with a running shoulder tackle. Right into the gut. And now look at Jinder choking his former friend. And now look at the arrogance of Jinder Mahal. I think he's enjoying this. I think he is enjoying watching Slater suffer. As now Mahal looking for something. Slater able to slip behind and there's a back suplex. Come on Heath. You can do it. Come on Heath. Give it some. And now Heath Slater, another backbreaker to Mahal now. Come on Slater, you got this one in the bag, come on. You can do it. Oh, there it is. Sweetness. Sweetness by Heath. And now Slater may be looking to put this one away to keep his job alive. Slater, neck breaker from behind. That could be it. Heath Slater to keep his job here on Raw. Oh, Mahal kicked out at two. Stay on him, Heath. Stay on him. Oh, wait a minute. Heath Slater's going to go up to the top rope. This is how much it means for Heath to keep his job. Oh, no. The leg drop missed. The leg drop missed. Mahal got out of the way. And now Jinder looking to take advantage. No. The Coloss. The Coloss on Slater. No. No. Jinder Mahal has ended... The career of Heath Slater. I feel like crying right now, honestly. Oh my goodness, do we have to take another look at this? Heath Slater missed that leg drop and it cost him severely. Jinder Mahal able to get out of the way of that leg drop and hit this. The Coloss on Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal ends the career of his former friend. Wow, this is a sour note here tonight. 
I was enjoying tonight thus far, but wow. That has put a bad taste in my mouth. Heath Slater, one of the nicest guys I know, just lost his job here on Monday Night Raw. That is damn right upsetting, guys. Nevertheless, the show must go on, as they say. We still have our main event to come, and it's coming your way next. Braun Strowman, the new Universal Champion, will take on the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. It's coming your way next. Heath, I am so sorry, but I'm going to have to wait, Kevin, please. I need this job. Without it, I won't be able to provide for my family and kids, man. <sighs> Let me think. All right, I got an idea. I'll talk to Shane and see if it would be at all possible for some sort of trade to be made. I'd really hate to see you go, Heath, but I'm backed into a corner here. I need talent that can win on my show. I know, Kevin, but... This is just a really tough situation for me to be in, man. I mean, I need this job. I get it, Heath. I completely understand where you're coming from, but that's the best that I can come up with, at least for right now. Take it or leave it, I'm afraid. All right, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, Kevin, but... Man, this sucks. Why can't I win a match? I'm so sorry, Heath. This is nothing personally against you at all. This is just the... The tough side of business that not many people get, you know? I know, Kevin, I know. I'm sorry for that outburst. This is just a very stressful time for me. Sorry about that. No need to apologize, Heath. I get it, alright? Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can about the whole Shane situation, alright, man? Alright, Kevin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, Heath Slater's career here in WWE may not be over just yet. That is great to hear, as it is now time for our main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Silsby, Texas, he is the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Mark Henry, we saw him in the King of the Ring tournament a few weeks back, and tonight he is back on the red brand to take on the new Universal Champion, still got to get used to saying that, Braun Strowman. This is going to be one hell of a collision. Two behemoths set to collide in our main event of the evening tonight on Raw. I can't wait for this. And here he comes, the Universal Champion, the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Introducing his opponent, he is the Universal Champion, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman won the King of the Ring tournament. And went on to the SummerSlam pay-per-view to take on the then Raw World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. And Braun Strowman was able to make short work of the game and become the Universal Champion. I think it's safe to say that Strowman deserves that championship. As Mark Henry prepares to take on... The new Universal Champion here tonight. There's the bell. We're underway. And what a battle this is about to be as Mark Henry tries to come after Strowman. Strowman. Oh my goodness. He's picked up Henry. Oh, but Henry crushing Strowman into the mat. I think that may be the first time that Strowman has ever struggled to pick somebody up before. As Henry now with the need of a skull. Henry taking control as there's another knee and now some stomps into the chest as well. And Mark Henry is pretty proud of himself that he's got the big man down. But for how long for though? We know that Strowman does not stay down for long. As now Strowman is picked back up to his feet, sent off the ropes and there's a big boot now by the world's strongest man. And Henry follows it up with an elbow and a quick kick out by Strowman. Not even a one count. 
And now Mark Henry trying to continue to go on the offensive, but Strowman now with a massive drop kick showing off his agility. And now it's Henry who gets sent off the ropes. Strowman went for something, but Henry able to reverse and take Strowman down again with a single arm DDT. And now Henry wants Strowman back up to his feet. Strowman against the ropes. And now he dumps Henry outside the ring. And now Strowman is going to follow him out there. Oh, but Henry with a massive right hand. That one caught Strowman off guard. Strowman was not prepared for that right hand. As now we get sent into the barricade and back inside the ring. Henry will follow. And now Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. Going on the offensive once again here. But Braun Strowman able to counter. And there's a spine buster. Wow. What impact. And now Braun Strowman. No way. Oh my goodness. He just launched Henry across the ring by his leg. That is impressive. Strowman never ceases to amaze me. As now Henry still fighting. Oh, massive body block. Taking down the Universal Champion. And now Henry gets Strowman back up to his feet. Mark Henry getting the big man up on his shoulders. Samoan drop from the world's strongest man. And there is a reason why he has that nickname. Henry won a world's strongest man competition years ago, early in his career. And now Mark Henry unloading on Strowman's back with some big shots. And now here's the cover by Henry once again. And Strowman kicks out at one. More damage needs to be made. And Mark Henry plans on doing so. But Strowman now, off the elbow, delivers the STO. And now, no way! Oh my goodness! Strowman pulled it off. And now look at Strowman with these rabid forearms. To the skull of Mark Henry. And now Braun Strowman looking for the elevated triangle choke, but there's an STO by the world's strongest man. Mark Henry shutting that one down immediately. He does not want to be locked in that submission maneuver. And now Strowman is in the corner. Mark Henry setting up something. Oh no. Mark Henry second ripe. What a splash. What a splash. And now Mark Henry may be thinking world's strongest slam. No way. This is going to be an impressive feat of strength. Oh, but Henry got it. World's strongest slam to the Universal Champion. Henry to defeat Strowman. No. Kick out at two. Wow. Wow. What a feat of strength from Mark Henry there. But it was not enough. To put away Braun Strowman. Unbelievable. And now Mark Henry getting Strowman back up to his feet. Sends Strowman off the ropes again. And now Henry with a power slam. We know that Strowman has made good use of a running power slam as of late. But what about that one from Mark Henry as he taunts away to the fans on the second rope momentarily. And now Mark Henry... On the offensive yet again. Huge slam into the ropes. What force. Cover. Strowman kicks out again at two. And Mark Henry not hesitating at all. To get Strowman back up to his feet. But there's a headbot. Dazing Henry. And now Strowman. No way. No way is Strowman going to do this. What power. Power bomb to Henry. My goodness. Does the power of Strowman ever end? Apparently not. Henry's on the shoulders before getting sent onto that top rope. Strowman now with a cover to put away the world's strongest man. No. Two count. Another two count in this matchup. And Braun Strowman thinking about what to do next. He's going to get Henry back up to his feet, but Henry with a shoulder tackle. And now off the ropes, here comes Henry, another big splash, another big splash from Mark Henry, hooking the outside leg to beat the Universal Champion, no, another two count, what a main event, what a match this has been. And now Mark Henry may be out of frustration, 
just unloading on Strowman with some closed fists. Look at Mark Henry go. Unloading on the Universal Champion. Strowman back up to his feet again. Blocks the right hand and there's another massive headbutt. Taking Henry down this time. And now Strowman looking for a submission manoeuvre. Camel clutch applied to Henry. Is Mark Henry going to submit to the Universal Champion? No, he'll escape. Henry escapes. And there's a big shot to the back of Strowman. And now Mark Henry has Strowman in his grasp. Head first into that top turnbuckle. And now Mark Henry elbows to the ear. Taking Strowman down. Strowman is laid out on the mat. Henry wants him back up again. Strowman back up to a vertical base. Henry missed the double axe handle. Oh, and what a shot to the chest. My goodness. And now Strowman, the elevated triangle choke locked in. Is Henry going to submit now? The elevated triangle choke locked in. Henry trying to get out, and he does. Henry escapes. And now Mark Henry sends Strowman into the corner again. Elbow by Strowman. And now Mark Henry is up on the shoulder. Running power slam. Strowman into the cover. And Strowman defeats the world's strongest man on Raw. What a main event that was. The running power slam was enough to put away Mark Henry here tonight. What a matchup that was. I don't think anybody will be able to stop the monster among men anytime soon. If Mark Henry couldn't do it, who the hell will? Braun Strowman stands tall at the end of Monday Night Raw.